Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed. I'm the founder of Ionet. Ionet is compute as a currency protocol. We are decentralizing Ray in a new industry called Deepin, Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. Some new hype happening in the crypto right now. Uh, I just want to give you a quick story how we started before we move into the um, providing GPU supply. Uh, we were building an algorithm called Dark Tech, and this algorithm basically um, was targeting extremely low latency trading on the US market and crypto market. Basically, we needed to use a lot of GPUs because we were building a model pre-market. Before the market opens, we aggregate the data for each stock, so there's a model for each stock, and then we keep fine-tuning the model while the market is moving. So the amount of GPU power we needed was crazy. So to supply this GPU, it was too expensive to go to AWS or to anyone else. So we started going to mining farms, crypto miners, whoever have a lot of GPU supply, but also good infrastructure that supports low latency trading, um, and we just like try to integrate with them and use their GPUs and pay them so much less. That's how we started and then somehow we're like putting all this together we found out actually we built an infrastructure that could solve a massive problem everyone is facing. So uh, but by the way this low latency trading system were trading 30,000 account in less than 200 milliseconds. So then we found out suddenly that we have the world's largest GPU decentralized physical infrastructure network. We currently have on the wait list 30,000 uh, GPUs, which we can cluster in one ray cluster in less than 10 seconds. Now, we haven't yet launched, and this is actually the first demo of the product, but the product is two-sided. We have the suppliers, the miners, who are bringing GPUs to us, um, mining farms. We go to mining farms who have extremely good internet connectivity, SOC2 compliance, and uh, we go to miners who have reliability, and um, so these miners are coming from Render Network, from Filecoin Network, and from other small data centers across Korea, across uh, Hong Kong, uh, or Singapore, and some of them even US and Canada. So the network has the workers, or the suppliers, and has the cloud. Uh, at, at this side here, we're looking at what a, what a worker look like. This I'm looking at all my GPUs in the network. And, on the, and also there's an explorer because it's a public network. All the bookings, all the clusters, all the, everything that happens in the network is, is in the public. Now, if you go to the cloud, let's go to the other side of the engineers. What I could do is I could say, I want to deploy a Ray cluster. Now, what happens here is first, let's say, you know, live demo. That's my Ray cluster and I'm bringing supply from Ionet or from Render Network. Depends on what type of usage you need. Then you choose the location where you want the uh, GPUs to be from. You could have geoproximity. We will even have more city locations because it's a decentralized infrastructure. You can, have, you can bring the model actually closer to your end user. So then I would choose, I want the A100 GPUs. You, could, you have SOC2 type GPUs and you have end-to-end -end encrypted. And then uh, you choose the connectivity that matches your desire and then you have multiple services, like uh, soon there will be Ludwig, PyTorch, FSDB, Unreal Engine 5, Pixel Streaming, uh, and so on. So right now we need Ray app, and we see that we can cluster 60 GPU. Just to be safe, I, I wanna put 50, and I will deploy the cluster. So it will take a few seconds. I'll be redirected, hopefully, to the home page, and then what happens is right now the network is going to match all the supply that I just requested from all the network and create a new job record for each one of them uh, and then create a cluster. Now we have this live demo of the cluster. It will have 50 A100 GPU sourced from across the globe. Uh, what's gonna happen right now is uh, the network deployment of a cluster was sent. The network is now waiting for the workers to accept the invitation. Usually it takes 10 to 20 seconds. Once all the workers connected, you'll be able to have a Ray dashboard. We'll look at it right now. But the thing is, right now I can see all the devices that hold my 50 GPUs that I just rented. And each device is like a wallet in crypto, right? You could go to that device and explore all the jobs that was in this device. While this cluster is deploying, let's go randomly to any one of these devices. And then when you go there, you can actually see the location of the device. It's hired because now we just hired the device. Um, the uptime percent, what's the internet speed he has, what's the services he's running. And also I could see the, the historical jobs that this device have done in the network, which is this cluster that we just created is the first job for this device. Uh, and he's going to earn $100, but 
he has to be uptime for the whole 50 hours we rented him. And each epoch, we will punish him, slash him some rewards if he went offline, or we will reward him. Okay, going back to my cluster. So this is an example of a running cluster. Same thing, it have the workers. If we go to the Ray dashboard, you will be able to see all the workers in the cluster. You will see all the jobs that ever was sent to the cluster. Uh, I can also have access to the Visual Studio code for, to basically, you know, code on this cluster. I'll show you over here. Yeah, so right now I'm inside the cluster. I could go, I would run a terminal and I will just like check the GPU. This is by default inside the head node. So the Ray cluster is already by default running on this. Uh, so you can run any app and it will be distributed if you just run Ray in it. Um, so on the Jupyter Notebook 2, we have Yep. So this is directly connected to the current cluster. So you could put any, any Ray code here and assign the runtime environment and um, it will basically run. Thank you so much. I'm going to wait for this cluster to be deployed. Our booth is right there. So whoever wants to see it live, uh, we'll be waiting you there. Thank you.